Welcome to the aztaxes.gov requesting delegate access tutorial. Today we will discuss how to request delegate access. Let's begin from the aztaxes.gov homepage. Select the login to aztaxes button. Log in to your business user profile by providing the username and password that were established during the aztaxes.gov new user registration process. For more information regarding this process, please visit www.azdor.gov or follow the step-by-step -step guidance provided in the new user registration tutorial found at www.azdor.gov. If there is no business already associated with your AZ Taxes user profile, the following page will display. Select the Request Access button at the bottom of the page. If you wish to review the meaning of the term Delegate User, Use the cursor to hover over the highlighted text and the definition will appear. If there are businesses already associated with your AZ Taxes user profile, the first page you will see is the Business List screen. Select Business Registration from the menu on the left side of the screen, then select Delegate Access Request to continue. Review the three requirements on the Welcome page before selecting Continue. On the Delegate Access Request page, enter all of the required information. First, enter the ID type. You can select either EIN, SSN, or the license number. Next, enter the ID number that corresponds to the ID type selected. Then confirm the ID number is correct. Remember, the value entered must match the information entered in the ID field. Next, enter the business name. Lastly. Check the box provided to confirm you are not a robot and follow the instructions before selecting Continue. To request privileges for all account types, check the Account Manager box located above the Access menu. For each account type, you will be able to request access to the following. File returns, look up account periods, and make payments. Finally, enter the company name, job title, and contact telephone number. These are not required fields but by providing the additional information, the primary user can better discern whether to approve or deny access. When you have made your selections, click on the Save and Continue button at the bottom of the screen. On this page, review the Delegate Access request information for accuracy. If you need to make changes, select the Back button. If all of the information is correct, enter your e-signature PIN and click on the Submit button. You have now completed the Delegate Access request. Select Finished to review the status on the following page. If you want to check the status of a pending access request, select Check Status at the bottom of the page. If there are businesses already associated with your AZ Taxes user profile, then select Business Registration from the menu. Next, select Check Registration Status. This concludes this training module. Thank you for your time and allowing us to better serve you. 